If you're not into Shizuku right now, let me just give you a small and brief introduction that Shizuku is basically root alternative, not exactly like root, but basically ADB permissions or some apps which run through PC. Now you can use with Shizuku. For more information, you can check out the Shizuku website. The link is available in the description. Here are some of the great apps I have ever used while using Shizuku with the help of Shizuku of course the first one is anywhere this app basically does you can simply create shortcuts for almost everything any kind of activity on your device you can create QR codes from that you can use any URL shortener I mean to say URL shortcut and a lot more things which you can do for example we have a lot of activities for example in IDM you have the default activities for the launcher or for the incognito mode and a lot more things like that you can see we also so you have the card options if you click on card you can see you can create a lot more things for example just for an example if i take url scheme as an example in this one what this option will do is you can simply click here name this for example just for example let me just try to give it a name like random name here and here type the url for example this is my website url https and we have this techcurrent.co.in and if I type this whole this right now and what this what this thing will do is you can simply click this one and it will simply redirect me to directly to my website kind of a shortcut and this thing works with the help of Shizuku for example click this and it is now redirecting me like this I'm, I know this might not be a big deal but this is really useful this app has a lot more new things and a lot potential if I move on to the second app in my list is a shell which is basically a command prompt or basically command command box as you can see like some commands which you run through PC for example if you are a Xiaomi user you might notice in Xiaomi what you have is you have to uninstall some apps through ADB and in this case this is what this app actually does it also have a lot of extra things for example if you're using Xiaomi you don't need PC anymore to uninstall your system System apps with the help of ADB with the help of a shell you can uninstall your system apps without rooting your device even with the help of ADB commands it also has a lot of commands options as you can see PM install create existing etc etc just for an example if you see these these kind of options here we have one command which is called PM list features which will simply list the phone features right now which my device actually have let me just try to put it here if I try to type PM install so you can simply see as you can see all the things are here and these are the these are the features which are introduced in my case these are the features in my device and this is just as an example there are a lot more things included here another app which i found here is in this list is droidify of course it works without shizuku also but with shizuku what you can do is you don't need to click that option called allow apps to install unknown apps from sources i mean unknown sources you can simply use this installer as shizuku installer grant the shizuku permission and the apps will be installed like you're using a rooted device like in play store you can simply click on install apps installed in background same thing this app will do so that's quite useful another one is dsu side loader and what this is for example if you're using a custom room you want to try out any other new update for example android 14 gsi on your device you can simply pick that gsi install it on your device without even touching your current custom room and this is really useful in a lot of cases you don't need to uninstall your custom room to install this you can see operation mode is adb which means i'm using shizuku it also works with root of course by the way it is it actually works with root but with shizuku it is also working so that's really impressive another one another app which is in our list is power panel which is also quite useful it is only having two options called system power menu and lock screen what this is if i click here it will simply launch my device power menu and another one is lock screen so if i click here it will simply lock my device screen and this is really useful a very small few kv app but this is really useful in some cases for example your volume button is broken for example your power button is broken simply grant shizuku permission and use this thing Another one is Repainter is in our list and as you can see I am using these themes in my case. I am using custom theming in my Xiaomi device MIUI and these things are actually 
am working without root of course i'm using shizuku my device is not rooted i can use any theme from here it depends upon which custom room for example you're using or depends upon if your device supports repainter which android version you're using or if you have purchased repainter a lot more things depends upon that but most of the times repainter should work with shizuku so this is really amazing for example if you is custom room user which supports repainter by default then this might not be of any use for you but in this case this is what we have another app which is on our list is rootless james dsp for example if you want to install dolby atmos on a device but you can't and still with the help of shizuku you can't install dolby at least while making this video but if you enable this rootless james dsp this works almost great I'm not comparing it with Dolby Atmos by the way, but this is actually really working fine. You have to adjust all these things according to your preference. I tried this dynamic bass boost. We also have this dynamic range compander. You can simply choose any other options if you want to. These options are super good. These options are super amazing. So it depends upon you which thing you want to try out on a device or not. Or it depends upon if you want to apply these settings on a device or not. But this is so useful and you will definitely love if you're a music lover and you want to customize your device audio, modify your device audio, then you must try out Rootless James DSP, which works with Shizuku. So if you have not installed Shizuku yet, what are you waiting for? You definitely have to try it out on a device. Another one is in our list is ST Made SE and if you want, if you are a custom ROM user or if you are not a custom ROM user, both users can use this thing. What this is, you can simply free up some space, cache memory, application cleaner, system cleaner and a lot more things. Simply grant the permission from Shizuku, use it on a device and you will definitely love this thing on a device. This looks amazing and it works like charm. I tried this and it's working superbly fine. You must give it a try at least if you want to because this is available on google play store also this is an open source project so this is also really amazing you don't need to purchase that app separately last but not the least we have a google pixels tap tap feature basically iphone feature because i in iphone this feature was firstly introduced i guess and you can get this thing very easily double tap on a device pack to adjust some options for example screenshot launch assistant a lot more things so these are the things and this is a list of apps which i'm using right now while using shizuku if you want to install any one of them or maybe all link is available in the description thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one goodbye